Hello, welcome back to Rough Boy Boating. Uh, this is Pearson again. Uh, today is December 22nd. I got it right this time. Uh, I've been pretty busy with school and work and everything, so today is the first day off I've had in, a, in about two weeks. Um, but I'm going to get right to it. We're going to start um, tracing some of the templates because I don't want to cut these out and then all of a sudden make a mistake and have to readjust stuff. So I'm going to be using this uh, translucent sketch paper that I picked up at Joanne Fabrics for like, it was on sale for 10 bucks. It's uh, like 20 yards of it, way more than I'll probably need. Um, and I'm just going to be taping this down so I get a nice flat surface. Uh, tracing this out and then eventually I'll be transferring it to um, a sheet of uh, a couple sheets of MDF um, which is pretty suggested by uh, everyone who's done uh, a smaller boat like this uh, it's a lot easier to work with um, a little more solid than just gluing all of this onto your plywood because you only have one shot or for me at least I'll only have one shot because I'm trying to not make too many mistakes um, so and then tomorrow I am going to uh, cross cut hardwoods uh, which is a I believe it's like a hardwood uh, wholesaler in uh, uh, Soto in Seattle uh, my dad told me that uh, that's where all the other um, hardwood distributors get all of their wood from uh, so it's a little inside information if you're from Seattle um, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get right to it. Uh, and I'll probably have like a time lapse of me sketching stuff, which probably isn't too interesting, but, uh, it could probably, uh, help someone out if they're just totally lost on how to even begin. So, uh, let's get right to it. So before I forget, um, I'm going to be extending this of 110%. So, uh, the original plans are uh, for a 10-foot squirt, um, but I'm going to be extending the uh, uh, stem uh, by about 4 inches is what uh, is suggested um, to get that 11-foot. Um, and then also, uh, the original plans call for an outboard motor up to uh, 10 horsepower. Uh, but I want big zooms, so I'm going to probably getting something around uh, 15 to 25 horsepower. So I need to beef up the uh, transom here uh, a little bit. I'll probably be using either three quarter or four quarter inch plywood rather than just the uh, half inch plywood, um, and then maybe beefing up the uh, uh, transom knee. Um, but I am not sure how that is going to affect. I know how it's going to affect the uh, the stem because uh, on the plans you can use one uh, sheet of plywood for the transom, the stem, the breast hook, um, something else. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to have to buy a, another half inch sheet of pot plywood which I would like to avoid um, no nah, actually I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna get three quarter inch or four quarter uh, ply and use that for my uh, transom breast hook and uh, stem so might add a little bit of weight but uh, I want this thing to last and I think it'll be worth it so I should have a ruler. All right, so took a little Googling. Um, I was kind of confused by this dotted line here, um, which is accounting for the bevel, the 12 degree bevel in the uh, framing members and the plywood. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the entire thing out at this bottom line. Um, and then I'll use, uh, 
a jigsaw at an angle to cut this 12 degree angle um, later after the plywood because I don't want to mess around uh, trying to do this weird bevel for the frame and then bevel for the plywood. I'll just do it all in one uh, foul swoop. Uh, just make sure that my tools are all sharp. Um, but so this is what it looks like. It actually worked out really well. I wasn't sure if it was going to work out because it wasn't technically tracing paper. Or I know people have used uh, carbon paper in the past. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm definitely going to be using uh, three quarter to four quarter inch uh, plywood, uh, depending on the pricing. Uh, uh, on that, I'll find that out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I have to make two of these transom because this is obviously just half of it. Uh, so I'm going to do that off camera. All right. And then so uh, the straight parts are obviously very easy if you got a ruler or a straight edge or something. Um, but these curved parts around the frames, um, they look a little sloppy here. Um, but I'm not going to worry about that too much because I know I'm going to have to do like 40 hours of sanding. Um, and I'll be able to fare that out pretty easily, I hope. You know, famous last words. But, uh, pro tip, make a little tabs on your tape so you can just, uh, pull that right off. Bam. Easy peasy. So I finished both traces of the uh, transom, so I'll be able to flip one over since it's translucent, so I won't have to worry about uh, uh, mirroring anything on that MDF. Um, now I'm going to move on to the breast hook here. So when we finish, it'll look like this, right? But then cutting each of these pieces out. Bam. And then I left these in because I feel like they're important and their shipwright knowledge is more than mine, so. All right, it's a brand new day. Uh, I had to do some stuff, Christmas shopping, whatever. Um, so for the stem, uh, it's gonna be two pieces of uh, three quarter inch plywood. Um, and since I'm extending it, I need to extend this around four inches is what uh, people on Glenel and BoatDesign.com are saying for uh, extending the stem. So I just extended this and then extended the notch out a little bit too. Um, I'm gonna leave. I'm probably gonna leave a little bit of extra when I cut it. I'm not gonna put that in my uh, tracings, but definitely gonna do that just in case you know um, so yeah should be pretty straightforward um, and then I'm probably just gonna do the transom knee uh, off camera because it's really boring I mean it's yeah whatever all right Bam. Well, nice. Shine Junction label where the breast hook goes. Frame number two. Yeah. On to the uh, transom knee. I'm just going to do that off camera. Um, and then I'll start doing some frames. I'm a dumbass. All right, so I've been building with uh, plywood up until this point, or tracing for plywood up until this point, and uh, now I'm going to be using lumber. Um, so drawing all of this out right here makes absolutely zero sense. So we're gonna just 
draw this part out right here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna draw this part out and then flip this page, put that there, double it, and then double this one too. So I'll, fuck, wait, that, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, okay. I need to think about this. All right. So this is going to be long and then I'm not going to cut it, but then I'll flip, flip it over, flip the paper over, make two copies of this on the same sheet so I can just cut it out and well, I am confusing myself more and more. Uh, so I'm just going to do it. And you guys can watch me, and then I'll explain later. Um, yeah. Say hi to, say hi to Kaiser. Hey, buddy. All right, so here's the side members. Uh, since it's gonna be a template and they're the exact same, she's gonna make one of these because I'll cut it out and then use that template twice. Um, so what you just saw me do is with this super long um, translucent paper. So I drew this side Flip the entire thing over so I was able to connect it with this line. So now I have one continuous piece of the uh, frame. So here we have the uh, floor timber. I did the same strategy I did with the uh, other frame. Uh, that's gonna go in the aft section in between uh, these two frames, or these two uh, whole frame members. Um, and then the stem will fit right in between there. And uh, yeah, and then I already finished the uh, Second frame, I'm not sure if I recorded it or not, but uh, that's just going to be two uh, pieces for right here. Bam. And then the floor timber will go. Like that. So, on to uh, side timber make duplicates and then I'm gonna do the flippy thingy with the uh, deck timber something I had to Google uh, and look at other people's uh, squirt builds and looking at the their frames uh, I wasn't sure if this was supposed to be uh, you know butt jointed with the gusset right here um, but no uh, the deck beam is uh i think aft of the uh side member here and it is married with a carriage bolt um so just a little uh, pro tip there for you just finished up the deck beam uh, i felt like this episode was getting a lot longer than i really wanted to i didn't think it was going to be this much filming um honestly if i wasn't filming it would have taken like two hours but it literally took me four hours maybe uh between yesterday and today to uh finish up this tracing of stuff uh now all i need to do is grab 
um, some MDF. I believe my dad still has some laying around that's been there since I was 10, so I don't think he'll miss it. Um, I'm going to pick that up in the next couple days and uh, start cutting out some templates. Um, and then start actually building the boat. Um, this is going to be like, these are like the last two or three steps um, before I actually start construction on the frames and uh, uh, chimes and, and all that good stuff. So uh, probably next video I'll be uh, cutting out templates and I'll probably be able to lump together um, templates and at least the frames and transom. Um, but uh, that, you know, again, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get this out. Uh, I am still just doing this on my free time. So uh, we'll see what happens. Um, if there is anything that you see that I am doing completely wrong or could affect the future of this build, um, definitely let me know. Like, uh, I'm not going to be upset if you're like, you dumbass, you forgot to do this, this, or this. And, uh, I, this is my first time building something like this and, uh, I can take some constructive criticism on, uh, how I'm doing things. Um, Tyler. Hey. Uh, so, uh, this is, this is Kaiser, by the way. He's my pup. Um, yeah, so if you see something I'm not doing right, let me know. I still don't know how I'm supposed to say goodbye on these YouTube videos. Um, bye.